Well, hello there. It's the Archivist from TradingCardArchives.com, and I'm here today to rip another box of Kyo Marvel Hero Battle. In fact, my last box of it. Uh, this is the last box that I have. Uh, you know, depending on how this rips goes, I might try to get some more. Although it's getting to be very difficult to find now, uh, as you may or may not know, Kyo lost the license to Marvel at the beginning of this year. So they can no longer print this TCG uh, any longer. This is a full TCG game. You'll see when we uh, start opening it up. Um, there's rules and everything on the cards. Uh, even so, this was one. These were some of the most popular Marvel trading cards in China for four or five years. Uh, so these are well known all around the world, and most many Western collectors also collect these cards. So this particular set uh, is pretty famous all over the place. And so now that it's out of print and out of uh, no longer going to be printed, uh, the value of this is kind of exploding, and the boxes are becoming you know, much more rare, they're harder to find. If you can find them, they're more expensive. Um, not a lot right now, you know, a box that was $28 last month is $32 this month, right? But it's going up like that. And we saw kind of the same thing happen with uh, MLP. So I assume, you know, in time, these boxes, a box like this that I originally bought this for like $20, right? That's how much I paid for this uh, on a sale and everything. Usually this would be about a $25 box. Uh, but still, this will be, you know, probably a $100 box or more with by by the end of this year. So uh, you, you need to understand that this set uh, is becoming more rare. The cards are still sought after, especially those CR and MR level cards. Those top level cards uh, are still very rare, very sought after. Uh, and as we open this, I'll be going on eBay and helping you to kind of understand the uh, pricing. I hope I'm not wrong. <laughs> like, I'm gonna feel really bad if I get through this box and uh, and like I start comping on eBay and no nothing's for sale anymore. I, I will apologize if that happens. Um, the thing is, I wasn't even gonna open this today. That's why I didn't really do any prep work or anything. Um, I pretty much just pulled it off the shelf because I was just doing a kind of random video and I was opening uh, just kind of random packs of, of trading cards and I opened a pack of Zenka Spider-Man uh, 60th anniversary. So that's this uh, Zenka Spider-Man set. Very cool set of cards. Um, and I pulled a gold coin card from it. So it's not real gold. It's not precious metal gold. Uh, but it still is numbered to 166. And this is the third highest tier card in that set. So I got super, super lucky pulling this. So I figured, you know, whatever. If, if my uh, Marvel luck is on today, why don't we go ahead and grab a Marvel box from Kayo and uh, see if we can get some of that luck into this box. Because if you can pull a top card, you know, one of these two cards basically from this box, uh, those two, uh, uh, this Black Widow especially, very, very rare card here. Uh, if you can pull that, you could be making you know, $100, $200, something like that. These can be triple digit cards. Um, so uh, this box did ship with security sticker mostly intact. Like, I'm honestly pretty sure it hasn't been searched, although with these boxes, they usually do get searched. Uh, it's just uh, an unfortunate side effect of having the product be that sought after is that uh, it is possible to weigh those packs. And so vendors will weigh the packs and the heavier packs they will remove and then put uh, a lighter uh, pack in instead. Uh, so you, you will lose out. Uh, we'll know it, it was searched if we don't get an MR. So every single 5 yuan box should have one MR in it. Um, that's kind of the soft guarantee from Kyo. It's possible that it wouldn't be in there naturally, uh, but it's very unlikely. Uh, and so, okay, so let's um, go ahead and grab our pack here. And these, honestly, these look to be in pretty good shape. And I've never opened a pack of this set before. So this is the only set that I've never opened. Uh, so on the channel, I opened a lot of Hero Battle. And I, I mean, I've opened a lot of Hero Battle over the years. So, you know, hundreds and hundreds of packs of it. Um, but I've never opened set 4 or 5 Yuan. That's what this is. Uh, so on the back of the pack here, you'll see it's um, MWK. That's the designation for the Marvel Hero Battle game. It's an A box. A just means that it's the 5 you box, box. Uh, and then 4 means that it's set 4, or the 4th release uh, in the set. And these were officially licensed cards. Now, they don't have the license anymore, but they did when they printed these. Uh, so these count as licensed cards. And I always like to show people this website, because if you don't know, uh, Kayo has a website. 
uh, that you can go to outside of China. So you can load that site in Chrome and uh, use translations to turn it to whatever language you speak and read about it. And there's news on there. There's uh, all the licenses that they do have, product guides. Uh, there's even a map to where their stores are if you're going to visit China. Uh, so it's a it's a pretty cool website to go on and uh, bookmark if you have never looked at it before. Uh, okay, so let's get going. So this is, again, Hero Battle by uh, Kayo, Marvel, Marvel Hero Battle specifically. It's a hidden information game, so it's an actual TCG. Uh, like I said, with hidden information. So the back is the same on all the cards so that you can shuffle them and your opponent can't see what uh, what you're going to play. Uh, and at the 5 to 1 level, they're all going to come with this treatment. Uh, they're going to say first edition on them. Uh, that's because this 5 to 1 box is the original box that these were printed in. There are J boxes that reprint the cards. And when the reprints don't have first edition. So if you don't see first edition... Uh, it means you're looking at a reprint. And so here we have a rare of Spider-Man. Now, even though that's a rare, these are some of the most valuable cards to collectors because this card doesn't have any rules on it. It's a full art card, right? Uh, and so full art is much more desirable to collectors than the uh, half art cards that you can get. And so here we have some SRs. This is an SR of Captain America. Great looking uh, comic book art on there. And if you're ever curious about how to play this game, I have done a video translating the rules of this game. So you can actually learn to play this game uh, if, if you wanted to learn it. Uh, that's an interesting uh, ghost, uh, ghost spider there. Uh, that's an SR and a full art. Uh, you don't get those too often. So that's a pretty uh, special card, I would think. Although by the end of this box, we're going to have many, many dupes of these. Uh, so I, I won't go through all the cards, spend this much time with all of them, just because uh, we will end up with a ton of dupes by the end of this. Especially down here in the rares, we're just going to have you know, piles and piles of dupes, because uh, we'll be opening 20 total packs today. Oh, we got an Ant-Man. Ant-Man with his, uh, with his ant. Nice. And a Thor. We got a Vision. Hulk. And a Captain America and a Black Panther. These set four cards all seem to be like a little bit more serious than the other cards, if, if that makes any sense. Like all the characters kind of look very serious and grim uh, in their artwork, at least. Uh, some of the other sets, uh, especially set five, I think use more ch cheerful, I don't know, colorful uh, of the comic book art, I think. They, they aren't quite so... Uh, aren't quite so... Oh, we got a dupe. <laughs> That's too bad. There's an SSR. Oh, actually, that's an SGR. Very cool. So SGRs have the same image as an SSR, but then they have this uh, crazy background that is different. So if we ever get the SSR of this card, you'll see it has the exact same image, but a different background. So that's kind of a, a like an alternate art. There's a rare of Spider-Man again. Thor. And... Ghost. Very nice. Yeah, I had like a whole series of videos planned today, and this one is kind of like randomly added in the middle. But I hope it'll be worth it. I mean, I, I think... People always enjoy these cards, and I, I always enjoy opening them, so I don't mind. Nice Black Panther SR there. Huh. And we got a Iron Man SR. I love the custom uh, refraction on that. kind of looks uh, very cool. A rare 
are here. And another Gwen. Very cool. Keep going here. There have been five releases of uh, Hero Battle. So you'll find like, uh, you know, one, two, three, this is four, and then five is the latest one, and also now the last one. There won't be any more uh, after five, so we're done with that. Uh, but there was also two of those J-Box releases that kind of have reprints and special mini sets. So they almost uh, act as, you know, follow-up sets. So in a way, there's almost like seven sets, but the last two are very small little J-sets. They're not full sets at all. Okay. There's our rares. And those J boxes are the best ones to buy for value collectors because they have the CRs in them. And those CRs are where you'll find the, you know, $300 cards, right? Uh, although I, I should I should be careful because like I said, I haven't actually um I haven't actually gone and checked eBay in a while. So it could be that this game is not worth anything anymore. I, I could be completely wrong. We'll find out as soon as I find something worth going to check. Um, here's this is interesting. So this is the SSR uh, that I was talking about, but it, you'll see it has the same artwork but a slightly different background. But it's otherwise the same card, same rules, same stats. Uh, so really, the SSR and SGRs are truly like just alternate arts uh, in this gaming system. And in fact, you can tell that from just the card designation. Do you see that little diamond in front of the card number there? That diamond means this is an alternate art card. So if you see the diamond, that's how you know it's kind of a special alt art, uh, even if you don't specifically know how the rarity systems work. Kind of a kind of a cool uh, system there, huh? And we've got some more. I think a lot of these are gonna be uh, dupes pretty soon, so I'll, I'll go a little faster through the rares. I'd love to get a Loki card. I, I really like uh, the character of Loki. I think he was one of the, the best characters in those movies. And then the two shows that uh, he got were also, I think, exceptionally well done. Uh, although the second season of Loki, I didn't like as much as the first, but mm, they're, they're both okay. <laughs> Here's an SR Spider-Man. Cool. Here's an Odin on the SSR. Very nice. And then our rares. Like I said, pretty much I think all dupes at this point. But also remember, it is a TCG, right? This, These are not trading cards, or they weren't meant to be. They were meant to be played as a TCG. Uh, and in fact, it's a very popular, was a very popular TCG in China for a long time, uh, to the point that you could find tables with people playing this game in every Kyo store, like all the time. So uh, uh, it's a, a kind of a crazy thing in that sense. Here's another full art SR. That is crazy. I don't remember there being this many full art SRs in the other collections. Maybe that's something that only set or did? I'm not really sure. Here's our rares. I'll grab another one here. We're about halfway through that box. But that's okay. Those boxes have 20 packs in them, so you, you will get quite a lot of cards from one of those boxes. And as you see, you you do also end up with a lot of dupes, so you kind of have to be ready for that. It's a very nice SSR. There was some nice purple smoke in the background. And then our rares, Hawkeye, Iron Man, Groot, and Spider-Man. Looking good. Open 
open this pack up. And yeah, I know that's a dupe now because <laughs> I remember this particular uh yeah, man. There. Here's a UR. Now the URs can have actual value, so uh, I will go look this card up. And by actual value, I mean like they can be worth 20, 20 ish dollars. It's not like a lot of money, but it's, you know, it's not zero dollars. So why don't we go first? We'll top load it. I'll give you a closer look at it, and then, um, yeah, I I'm, can't identify that character. I'm sorry. I, I wish I knew who that was, but I'm not sure. Uh, okay, let me go look this card up, and I'll be right back. All right, and yeah, actually, the secondary market looks good still, so that's great. This uh, UR has a lot of listings. Actually, there's about seven or eight listings. Um, the lowest one is about four dollars which is pretty low actually for this card I, I don't know why they're listing it that low all the rest of them are above ten dollars and the highest is uh, twenty dollars and so my my rough guess on this is about a ten dollar card um, so we'll say we've got uh, ten dollars in value right there and then here's some of the rares we just pulled which uh, i guess are yeah all dupes at this point but i'll go through them later and kind of sort those out for now, I'll just put them here. We've got an SR here, which I believe is the third. Uh, yeah, that's the third copy of that card. Sorry, I should have sleeved this one too. I like to sleeve the SRs because they are, you know, they're worth like about a dollar each. So, uh, you know, even though I wouldn't want to sell them on eBay at that, if I go to like a, a show or something and I'm selling them to someone who's right there, right? I want to make sure they're in decent condition uh, to sell them at that price. So here we uh, see the SGR SSR again, which is kind of cool. We get to see it now with Heimdall and also with Odin. So you can see sort of how that uh, treatment change works. Here are our rares from that pack. Next pack here. Very cool. We're still looking for an MR. Uh, there should be one MR somewhere in this uh, box. I'm out of sleeves, so I'm going to have to pause again. Sorry, I should have uh, done this last time. Uh, but I need to get some more sleeves. I'll be right back. Let me pause here. To get some more of these. Some people always ask, like, what, what sleeves I use. Um, I don't get paid for this at all, but I use uh, cardboard gold sleeves. And these are interesting because you usually can't buy these unless you go to a card store, and you'll see them there. Uh, and these are usually the ones that are sold for, like, you know, a dollar for one of these packs. Like, it's really that cheap. They're like, you know, a penny each for the sleeves at a store, right? But you can buy cardboard gold sleeves directly from the manufacturer if you go to their website. And that's what I did. I bought a case of these. So I bought a case for $60, which sounds like a lot, right? But I got 10,000 sleeves. So I got them for, you know, a sixth of a cent each instead of a cent each uh, for my sleeves. Um, so, yeah, you can get sleeves very cheap if you uh, buy it direct and you buy a lot at a time and that one case has now lasted me um you know at least a year i've been using it for a year i still there's still not maybe a third left so uh yeah it's it's great if you're if you're going to be collecting a lot of trading cards like i do it's a a, a good investment i would say uh, although if you're not collecting this many, I would not buy a whole case because that's a lot. It's a lot of sleeves. Like when that thing arrived, I remember looking at it and going, oh my god, I'm never going to use all these sleeves. Uh, but you can see the bottom of that box now. So you actually you actually can use that many sleeves. But you need to be running something like this, an archive or something. Oh, wow, that's really nice. So I, I, uh, I, I get a little distracted there. That's awesome. So that is Captain Marvel with her short haircut. I happen to, uh, I love the short haircut the most on that, on Captain Marvel. So that's the one I like the best. My wife has a short haircut as well. So, uh, 
Um, and now here is an SSR of Scarlet Witch. Very good looking SSR too. Super awesome cards. I hope you can understand now why people in the West collect these, uh, even though you know they're they're it's a Chinese TCG, right? Like, what is someone in America going to do with cards like this? But if you have a Spider-Man collection, that Spider-Man card would look awesome in your collection, right? And it's something special and something unique that other collectors you know, might not know exists. So when you go to a show and you're looking through your collection, you have a more complete Spider-Man collection or Black Widow collection or whatever it is uh, than the other person just because you happen to uh, have, you know, the, the Chinese cards as well. And we did we did something good here. We got a, a Loki. We got a Loki UR, which I think looks amazing. I'm not going to lie. That is a beautiful looking card. Uh, and as I've said before, the URs can be worth a lot. You know, that other one was probably in the, you know, 10, 10 to $15 range. This one's probably similar. Uh, I'll go look it up. Just to see, just because Loki's a more popular character than uh, Electro, so he might be worth even more. Uh, but yeah, let me go look this card up quick, and I'll be right back. And yeah, it's a, a, a more solid 20, I'd say. There's multiples of this listed at the $20. Um, I'm still going to only call it a 10, just because there is one at $3.99. Again, I don't know who that is <laughs> wrecking the market down there, but, uh, you know, we can't, we can't deny its existence, right? So... Uh, so we'll we'll say that we have twenty dollars of cards there so far, which pays for the box. As far as I'm concerned, I'm good now at this point. I haven't even priced out the SGRs and things. These are probably you know two or three dollars each. These ones up here, uh, but those are the real money cards over there. At least so far, we should still have an MR somewhere in this box. Remember, unless again, unless it was searched, then that MR won't be here. But uh, if if it wasn't searched, we should find an MR somewhere in this box. And depending on the character on the MR, it could, you know, make or break the success of the box. But although so far, I will say this is one of the lower cost boxes I've opened in a while of Hero Battle. Um, I still remember I opened a Spider-Man box of this. That's set three. Uh, and it, like, by the end, we had opened, uh, like, two hundred dollars of cards or something like conservatively it was insane that box was uh completely insane uh, unfortunately you cannot do that every time as you can see here but you can try <laughs> oh, i think i think that spider-man set is the one that happens to just have the most value uh, and that's just because the spider-man character is collected by so many people around the world right uh, and so that particular hero battle set is the one that has all the value, right? Uh, that's got the Miles Morales uh, MR in it and uh, things like that. Beautiful Black Panther here. There's an agent. Kind of a cool background on him. Rares. Yep, you're getting used to seeing the same rares again and again and again. It will happen. It, they, that seemed huge at first, but even one box, right? You pretty much complete the rares. Like, maybe you'll have two or three missing. By two boxes, you are done with rares, right? So if you ever open a case of this, you by the fourth or fifth box, you're just throwing rares away because you already have like six or seven of every single one, right? And there are 36 boxes in a case. No, there's 48 boxes in a case. Uh, so you are going to be opening a lot of duplicates if you will try to open a case of this up. Uh, I'm not even entirely sure how you would do it. You'd have to structure it, I guess, over a few days. I don't think anyone could just sit there and rip a whole case of this at once. Uh, people probably have done it on, on what's not and stuff, but oh my god, that would be a very long stream. <laughs> Still no MR. I'm starting to get a little worried. We're down to just three packs and we haven't pulled an MR yet. 
Uh, and in fact, you know, pulling only two URs like that, it's also not really the best. You know, you want three URs uh, from a box to be like a good box. So I kind of feel like we got a little bit of a grenade here. I hate to say that so early because there probably will be an MR in the last couple packs here. But there's seriously there are only two packs left right now. Uh, sorry, I should have. I, I never really looked at these cards. Like the. I get ahead of myself here. Put those scissors down. Okay. We'll look at these. Although I, they're all dupes, but still we should we shouldn't just ignore them, right? Then we can open this. Uh, second to last pack here. Looking for that MR. Uh although I'm starting to think, you know, this was a search box and we are not getting an MR today. <laughs> Is an SR for us. Another SR. We have a rare, 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 and rare. All right, last pack. This is our last chance at getting some money out of this box. Um, doesn't look good. <laughs> Sorry. I guess. It can happen, right? I mean, sometimes you open these and you just will not get the cards you're looking for, right? Uh, it can happen. I mean, we'll, we got this awesome Loki, so it's a pretty good good setup here, but uh, I spoke way too soon. <laughs> I almost... I don't know why. I, I did... You watched me open every single pack here. I did not set that up so that it would be in the last pack. I didn't do that. That just happened. Uh, okay, so we did better than an MR. This is a CR, and this is in fact my first CR, uh, as you can see CR there. This is CR of Thor, uh, one of the best CRs that you can get. And you know, we're, we're, I don't want to jinx it, but this could be a lot of money here. Let me get a top loader for it, and then we'll go look it up. Actually, let's go through the last few cards before we look this one up. What a beautiful card, too. My first CR. Oh, nice. Oh, it was just basically just glare there. Okay. Don't worry, I'll pick that up in a second. All right. So there's the CR of Thor. Looking amazing. Uh, let's pause here, and I'll go try to see if I can get a comp on this. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, we're, we're in the money now. So uh, this card has a huge range too, but the low on this is $45. So the lowest one of these going is $45. Uh, and then there's a $50, there's a $72, there's a $90, and there's a $199, <laughs> which a little bit optimistic. Uh, but I still think you're looking about a $100 card here. That would be my guess, uh, is that this should be about, you know, $100, uh, roughly. So that gives us 120 total that we've earned today so yeah i think i definitely uh did a good thing there i you know like like i said i felt because i pulled this i was like my marvel luck is on today maybe i should get another marvel box off the shelf and then i pulled my first ever cr and it's you know not the best cr but it's one of the top crs in the collection i mean i think there's like maybe two crs better than this uh this is it's definitely one of the top ones I mean, just look at that thing shine. So yeah, beautiful trading cards here. Great day in the archives. Uh, we are doing very well for ourselves. Uh, and yeah, ha could not be could not be happier. Very very good job, everybody. Uh, all right, uh, I'll go ahead and sign off uh, for the Marvel video here today. And uh, yeah, have a great rest of your day. Bye bye.